Okay, guys, what are we doing? Working. You're working. Time. What time is it? We don't know. We don't know. Hey, it's dark. It's dark. It's dark. We still working. This is a true American. This is what we do. We work. Got bad Brad on the ditch witch. We got Josh Gribble cleaning out whatever he cleans out. But this is what we do. Hey, guys, we don't even know what time it is. That's downtown Denison. It's late at night. We're still here working. This is what we do. What do y'all want to say? America. America. Make me work, make me sweat inside. Make me feel like I'm alive. Take this hurt, lady, throw it in my face. Don't let these bones slow you down. Cause I'm coming on strong. Grass should have looked greener. I need a true believer in disguise. If I'm loving you. Brad also said, stop the damn videotaping. I need to get to work. Hey guys, here at the 40 Acres again, still working on the water line. Um, last week, Thursday, we ran the ditch witch pretty much for about 12 hours. Um, got the majority of our two inch line ditch trenched, and Friday we laid that line. Now we are shooting off all our one inch lines into each tiny home. We'll come over here and take a look. So we got the two inch line, got it all trenched, and Friday we actually ran the line, as you can see right here, this goes down, probably about 600 foot down there to the entrance of our, our Texas um, entrance. And then it continues through here. And as we get on this ridge, it's kind of where the tiny home community is gonna be, the, the six different units. So we'll continue to run the two inch line and we're shooting off one inch, this one inch poly. We've got another 500 foot and then we've got five rolls of 100 foot. There's your one inch line poly. So each one of those are gonna shoot off. Chuck's working on it right now. We got the two boxes and we got these T's, so it's a two inch T and they're shooting off, you can see the one inch line right there, that's gonna shoot off straight to the cabin. So he's working on those right now. He's gonna get six of those set and then you can see where it's gonna to connect to the two inch line and continue down that way. Here comes Bad Brad, you can see him. Okay, we'll step over here. <laughs> so the two inch line gets ran, shooting off one inch. We got the first unit over there, we got the second unit right here, third unit's right here, and then the other three kinda of go down the hill, we can walk over there. So the trenching, I mean, it's with the ditch witch, it, it makes pretty easy work of it. It just moves really slow and it takes a long time. And dude, we've ran 1,500 foot and now we're having to run off another trench, probably another five, 600 foot for each one of those one inch lines going to the cabin. And then down below here, we've got the next three units. You can see Eddie over there, he's working on each junction box where we're gonna shoot off the one inch line to each unit. So that J box goes over to the cabin where you're standing. And then we got two more that are gonna go down the go down the hill right here. That's where we got the, I guess the the fourth, fifth, and sixth tiny home. So we're getting close, to kind of getting to a, a stopping port point here. Um, we're gonna get the heavy equipment over here and they're gonna clean up a lot of these stumps, kind of make our house pads and get the hill sloped out to where it looks really good. We're gonna clear out a few more trees. It's just, there's so many trees in here, it's so thick. We just ran out of time doing it by hand. So we'll get the big equipment in here and continue working on that. But um, it's kind of where we're at as far as the water line and the tiny home community goes. Uh, let's go check out the rest of the property. We've got our home pad we've started on and then we've got a lot more trees cleared out down below and we're starting to take some of that clay and use it for the roadway, for the pad, and of course it'll get used right here too. Um, we had an old barn that was at the entrance of the property just pretty much fallen down. We had the equipment, we got some good footage of that we'll show you guys. but. Uh, they got it all torn down. It really just opened up the whole property when you enter on our side off of East Shepherd Street. So let's go take a look at it. So if you guys are still enjoying what you're seeing with this property, this is now our third episode of the Back 40 Homestead. Um, we'd love for you guys to subscribe and please like this video. Thanks. So we're a total of six working days with all three pieces of equipment, me and the two skid steers and the track hoe. Um, as you can see from the drone footage, we've shown a pretty cool progression of what the place looked like before and what it looked like day two. Day three.
been a lot of clearing done and of course we're now ready to start stealing dirt for the pond and that's what you see up here. So now we're here on the East Shepherd Street entrance. This is where our house is actually going to go when we get ready to build it. Um, it's kind of cool because they've actually done a lot of work over here as of Friday. They took out some um, some of our real big trees. Uh, we had some disease issues with them. I just I didn't think they were going to make it. I don't know if they'd been hit by lightning or something had gotten into them to where they really just made me nervous building our our home here and then. Five, ten years later, we had to take it out. It cost a lot more, potentially falling on our house in a big storm. So we went ahead and made the decision to take those out. Probably some of the biggest trees we've taken out so far, and it, it really hurt because they, they seem like they're very, very pretty trees, but as you got close to them and looked at the, the bark, I mean, it just, they had a lot of issues. And so, like I said, we, we made that decision and just thought it would be best uh, moving forward. Over here is actually where our house is going to go. We're building it out of a metal structure. It's gonna be kind of like our party barn where it's a, a metal structure and then we're gonna frame it out with like two buys. It's pretty much gonna look like a, a normal construction, but it'll be just very large open span and using the metal building allows for us to accomplish that. But um, we'll have like normal sheetrock, normal siding. It'll, like I said, look like a, a normal house in a sense, but it'll have the, the attributes of what a metal building allows for you to do with that, that large open. So right now, they are building this up. Um, they tore out the old house pad that was here, which was pretty much just some like eight inch concrete footings. I mean, there was nothing crazy here, but they tore all it out. Um, we have our old well that we used to have previously. It was like a 50, 55 foot hand dug well. Really, really cool. Um, but it was just a huge liability because literally just a six foot hole in the middle of the ground just made us nervous when we were out here all the time with the kids. And um, they got it all filled in, got it to where it's, it's all nice and safe. And, um, as we're continuing to take dirt from down below, we're bringing up here and continuing to build this house pad up. And you can tell where we've built this up quite a bit so far. Um, the cool thing is we had a lot of trees right here. This one tree is the, the big oak tree we were talking about that we just had, had issues with. But then we also had some hackberries and different things that we took out. And now with those being gone, you can really take advantage of the view and see back to the north. I don't know where these rocks are coming from. I don't know if these were brought in at one point in time or they were just found on the property and, and utilized, but um, we're planning on using this for part of the design. I mean, there's really cool big rocks, so use it for our landscaping and hardscaping, but um, those would be pretty neat to utilize. And we were talking about the well earlier. This is actually right here where I'm standing was the well. And it's just a little concrete parameter that went around. I guess they had like the well house at one point in time, and it was a like a legit five, six foot round um, hand dug well. We don't know how long ago it had been done, but it, I'd put a tape on it at one point in time and it was pushing almost 55 foot deep. Of course, we would have tried to keep it if it was actually holding water, but I mean, the only water it probably ever held was just surface water from rains. But I mean, since we've owned the property after big rains, we've never found any water in it. So again, it was just more of a liability and just made us nervous with the kids. So instead of um, just covering it up like it was previously. We just filled it in and um, just put in some extra rocks and different things, concrete that we weren't using. And let's go ahead and head over here. We're gonna look at what's our entrance. We had a, I, I guess you would call it like a, just an old framed 
barn slash shop. It, it had electricity ran to it at one point in time. Uh, it didn't have any running water. It's not like it had a kitchen or bathroom. So it's pretty much just a barn. It had a really decent concrete foundation, but it was just really old and um, the foundation itself was failing. We could have rebuilt the structure and made it um, nice again, but it was kind of in the way of where our entrance was coming and it just, it just, it would have seemed out of place where it was at. And like I said, it's probably gonna be cheaper just to build from scratch versus trying to remodel that thing. So we've got our entrance coming in right here. This is what we call East Shepherd Street. This is how we access the north side of the property. Again, I talk about the, the East Texas entrance a lot. That's on the south side of the property and that's where we're actually gonna enter um, into the tiny home community. This is where we're gonna enter into our side of the property to our house. Um, down below, you can see the, the large oak tree right there. That's actually where that old barn was built right up next to it. And there were some other trees like cedars and other things that just weren't really necessary, didn't need to be there. So, so now, we step down here a little bit, you can kind of see the gravel road coming in. That's actually where East Shepherd ends at. And that's where we're gonna have our driveway coming in. And it's gonna turn in right here and it's gonna go straight up here where we were just looking at and that's gonna be where we pull into our detached garage and then of course we'll have the, the house on the other side of that. So again, if you guys are enjoying these videos, uh, please like, subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, leave a comment below and we'll be more than happy to respond and answer any questions you have. So um, we'll see you guys next time.